is, is he uh, what's he doing jay what's going on there uh, oh. yeah, i think you're right i don't think that means walk you're right Yorga. yeah it means turning japanese it means go that way which street is this <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? Why am I on full screen? Full Is that screen, Jay. Better you yeah. than me. Hey everybody, welcome back to Pin TV. Sorry, I was just I was coughing. <laughs> welcome back. I'm sorry about last night, but we're here on Monday. Um, yeah, and uh, thanks for all the the people that come back and watch us and the new peoples. Thank you. And, um, you know, that subscribe shit and thumbs up shit if you feel like it. Yeah. Do it yes. And everybody on X. Are we on X, Tim? Yes, we are. Yes, we're on I felt, I felt funny. I feel like dancing at a nightclub and drinking lots of water. <laughs> I want to feel like dancing. Got to dance that way. Dancing that way. At our age, we'd be tired out. I know. I can't go to clubs anymore. So, you guys, um, a lot's been going on in the news, I guess. Again, we got Bitcoin doing weird shit. We got we got whistleblowers from Boeing that are getting Epstein. And uh, what else? I forgot. There's a lot of different stuff to find. So, thanks for coming. And, yeah. So do you want to, to start start with the Boeing stuff? So yeah, it's kind of scary, Tim. Tim this is scary. Good. I don't like so, hearing about this. So here's this whistleblower guy. Real quick, two A. I gotta say this because yep, two A safety. Welcome. Thanks for watching us on X. And if you haven't checked him out on X, please do. Yes, yeah. on X. So the guy I just showed you, he was an ex-Boeing employee, John Burnett, and um, he was um, he had key pieces of evidence in a lawsuit alleging that the airplane manufacturer covered up the safety concerns. Boeing, yeah, Boeing, that's not good. You know, the so, one that the door flew off? Yeah, that was that picture. Mm -hmm. Oops, shit, I just went too far. Sorry, guys. I'm a little nervous about covering this story because um, a lot of people, um, here's that door. Did anybody nope. blow out the door? No, nobody did That's blow good. out the door. Wait, so covering this might be dangerous to us? Is that what you're saying, Tim? This might be dangerous? I don't know if it's dangerous. It's just it hits home because I grew up in Seattle and the majority of the people I went to school with, um, their parents worked for Boeing and a lot of us graduated and worked for Boeing. Uh, Boeing was the big place you wanted to go and work at back then. And now, you know, all these problems. So this dude worked for Boeing for over 32 years until his retirement in 2017. Mm -hmm. This is the Boeing factory in the U.S. state of South Carolina. Workers here in Charleston are assembling the company's flagship product, 
the 787 Dreamliner. But this footage reveals some have little faith in the plane they build. Did you fly on one? Um, no. You won't fly on one. Did you fly on one of these planes? Of 15 workers asked randomly, 10 said they would not fly on the Dreamliner. I wouldn't fly on one of these planes because I see the quality of the going down around here. An employee captured the footage after contacting Al Jazeera to tell us he had serious concerns about what he was seeing. At his request, we changed his voice. With all the problems reported on the 787, there's 90% that's getting swept away, hushed up. It's an iceberg. In another meeting, the source told us workers are often underskilled, uncaring, and in some cases on drugs. I've seen a lot of things that should not go on at an airplane plant. People talking about doing drugs, looking for drugs. Wow. I know they don't. Do they? Hell yeah. Over the course of a year, Al Jazeera's investigative unit. That's not good. See, but they didn't used to be that. When did that change? That, and when you worked in a plant like that, you were drug tested if you even thought. Yeah, I'm shocked. Not just that, but it was very like military regimented as well. Yeah, yeah. So when did this all? I don't know. In the eighties, in 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 the plants in in Washington, mm-hmm. there were some people that were just higher than. <laughs> well, when they unionized, a lot of workers got fired because they won't accept the deal and they hired new people. They might have people wearing ankle monitors working there now. Yeah, you couldn't get away with that where I worked at. No, sir. no, Mm-mm. no. Uh-uh. And that was a plant from another state. Um, and they probably rely, their economy probably relies heavily on Boeing, just like a lot of Seattle does. I mean, obviously there's other things in Seattle now, but Boeing was the big, the big employer. And when they, you know, weren't doing good back in the seventies, there was this, big campaign. I think I said it to you guys before. Last one out of Seattle turn out the lights. Well, they employ it, thousands of people. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I wish that they'd let great. me go in there and take care of that place. I'd fire damn near every worker. I'd fire the first line supervisor, the second line supervisor, oh. the, the, the superintendent, and just on up the line. You're fired. You're fired. You're out of here. We're starting over from square one, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, and apparently um, the the one that was on the door that was serviced in um, Washington at the rent at the Renton plant, mm-hmm. and so what's going on? You know, is is that blue pilled um, liberal bullshit getting into your brain that you, you you don't want? Oh, that's right, minimal Mondays. What was it? Oh the yeah. Mo- I'll tell you something else that's happening, Tim, is that these guys have checklists. And and trust me, it's easy just to check off all the checks without actually checking the things they're supposed to check. Okay? You see what I'm saying? So what if, what if somebody paid someone just hypothetical remember this entertainment purposes only Um, somebody paid somebody to to overlook something and just check it because maybe the competition Um, i think it's more more laziness than anything else i think i think the, the the guys that are front and center the the lowest to to you know midway up towards the highest are all just checking the checks and going, yeah, I check because it's boring to check the same wheel four times a day and you already know it's okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, I think you it was could... Tin's theory. I think it was Slugworth. Slugworth. Said, I heard weeks ago they were saying the, the bolts weren't being tightened properly. They weren't. Yeah. Yeah. The you got to be running around, around and checking torques on bolts. Yeah. And, yeah. Like, torque everything. Everything. That's why you worry about flying. You worry about the idiot, the stoned drunk 
drugged up idiot that's working on your plane that you're flying. Frank, exactly. I'm frightened to death of flying. My dad was a pilot, but every time I get in a plane, I'm looking at every rivet, every cable, every bolt, every exactly. thing that can yes. come flying off. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I'm looking over the pilot. I'm making sure he's not drunk because there's been a bunch of that shit going on too, where the air traffic controller actually senses the drunkness of the pilot by the, yeah. by the stuff oh, yeah. he's saying. Incompetence is what it is all the way around. Well, then there's also the pilots that are saying, hell no, that's been trending um, this last 24 hours about not getting another Juby, you know what, or in the walker because, you know, they're like, yep. hey, no, you, we've done too, way too many and, and there are too many of us that are all of a sudden just kind of passing out behind the wheel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't help either. Yep. You'd rather take help. the chances with the one they got. That yeah, there's a, the... there's a lot of sketch. I don't know, like, who does, like, with the door and then the wheels. Yeah, one of them was the wheels that fell off. One of the planes, the cargo door opened in flight, and the yeah, main right. cargo was, was pets in cages. They didn't say yeah. the pets were yeah. lost. It depends on how, what altitude they're out at but that thing do you, in that cockpit it tells you that that cargo door is open it's supposed to they missed it unless something malfunctioned yeah if that light wasn't on that light bulb was burnt out you know they had that shit that happens too true just like true, the in a car i don't know it something's going on you guys because You've had the, there was a Sydney flight that was en route to San Francisco that was leaking hydraulic fuel. There was another one that um, maybe they don't want us to fly. The lost the one no. that lost lost the wheel. I swear yep. to God, it's all incompetence and it all goes back to those checklists I told oh. you about. There's so many mundane things they're supposed to check that they just don't. But it was all predicted in the drops. If any everybody knows what I'm talking about. First trains and now planes. Oh, good point, Mr. B. And then here's something not Dude, suspicious. The Boeing whistleblower just turned up not a lot. You know how Boeing's planes have been falling apart in midair for the last year, like doors coming off, tires falling off mid-flight? Well, it turns out that this guy, John Barnett, who spent almost a decade as the quality manager for a plant making the 787 Dreamliner, one of the problem childs of Boeing, well, he retired in 2017, and he's been taking legal action against them ever since. He's been alleging things like when a plane isn't getting built fast enough, they'll tell their dudes just to go and get scrap from the scrap bin, like broken parts and parts that didn't pass inspection, just slap them on there so the plane gets done in time. He also claimed that up to one quarter of the oxygen masks would fail if actually deployed, plus a number of other allegations that Boeing obviously denied. And then he wound up not alive in his on the, on the 9th of March from a, quote, self-inflicted wound. But the spooky part is what he did right before that happened. Because, see, this legal battle has been going on for years now. But... Just this last week, he gave a formal deposition in which he was questioned by Boeing's lawyers. So Boeing's lawyers just asked him a whole bunch of questions under oath about what he knows. And then that same week, he turns out to not know anything anymore. Right before he was due to undergo further questioning on Saturday. So what did they find out that he found out that now we're not going to find out? I mean, allegedly, obviously. If it was like an accidental death, like a car crash or something, that might you might be able to go coincidence. But like, who fights a legal battle for years and years and years, and then the like the year when Boeing's problems are all coming to light and proving you right, then you decide to off yourself. Like once like the world is like totally turning to your side, then you're you're over it and you're gonna just quit. I mean, really? So I don't know what's going on, but uh, puts on Boeing. <laughs> Come on, man. Is Hillary Clinton involved in Boeing? In yeah. <laughs>
Well, that's funny that you mentioned that because um, the Clintons have been trending today. Um, because of Haiti, right? Oh, did, Haiti. Yeah, the Haiti thing. And then all of a sudden you got this whistleblower. Speaking of Haiti, people are saying that Barack was in Haiti when he should have been at the, um, you know, State of the Union. Hmm. Well, apparently there's a cannibalistic um, what? gang. Yeah, uh, they're eating each other, Jay. Man. And not because they're hungry, because they're trying to scare their future victims, you know, to just bowing down because and the people of Haiti are pissed <laughs> off. So this is a little clip it from um how somebody in in Haiti feels about actually this one's too long. Sorry, I don't want to do that one. Are, they, are we gonna watch it? Cool, but they're doing okay. it. Let me okay, see. Let's watch can... it. They're gonna be eating each other. Yeah, time. we're gonna um, watch people eat each other. What the no, really no, 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 no. You're discretion advice. No, no, it's um oh now you got me all frustrated. Shit. That's what we're supposed to do because we're not um, here for. Okay, so there's this Haitian gang leader, Jimmy Cherishier, AK Barbecue. Barbecue. <laughs> I'm not shitting you, okay? Yeah. Said if Haiti's Prime Minister Ariel Henry doesn't resign, Haiti will have a genocide. Barbecue went on to say if the Prime Minister insists on staying in power, they can all expect a civil war. And then also, too, Biden just evacuated a whole bunch of people today um, from yeah. that Haitian consulate, and none of them were Haitians. That you know, they were all. So here's a little clip it from. Um, the journey oh, begins the with the single step. step. The path is long, but worth the effort. The effort is worth the destination. It's not about holding. If Arianui makes these international communities resign, continue to support Arianui. The knife is still young. The fire of youth. Such beautiful chaos. Remember the land of our dreams. International communities, especially the United States, Canada, Africa, the pro government ones. There's pretty much a whole peasant chapter. Whether that from the mountain or the valley, from the mountain or the valley, it's all the same. Whether by chance or by a decisive moment. Salas, salas. Just your last and recover completely, completely your anxiety. Anyhow, that's barbecue. Yeah, Agent J. They said this guy barbecue while he was saying his whatever he was saying. Uh huh. He's literally eating the fingers of somebody. It's and then, uh, this ritual. Can we get him on the show? Maybe Bar so. Jay, by the way, he comes with a piece of brown paper and two pieces of toast. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a real barbecue. Wow. And sauce. But you and know how sauce. much money we have thrown at Haiti? Yep. Well, and the thing is, is on November 21st of 1989, Hillary Clinton took George Soros to Haiti to review the infrastructure culture. And they were all like, hey, let's get on board and help the Haitians. It's determination that he made them in places like Haiti, a country that has less money in the bank than he does. Last month, he brought the First Lady with him for a look at some of the projects his foundation is funding. Mr. George Soros, and, uh, he's going to be helping the hospital. This year, Soros plans to give away almost $500 million around the world. Everyone knows, of course, Hillary's belief that it takes a village, which only makes sense, after all, in places like Haiti, where she's taken a number of them. That's great. He knows what he meant. Thank you. Oh, he knows. Mm -hmm. I, know several, 
I know several people that, that are missionaries that go down there and help rebuild houses and do, you know, electric in houses and stuff. And I told them all, I said, you're crazy. You're crazy as hell to go down there, man. Two AC that's on X said the barbecue video is on Rumble. He's literally no. eating someone's leg. leg. Yeah, Don't. and we're not going to show stuff like that. No. This like is the still- Renaissance Fest. Yeah, that's going on here right now, actually. Right down there. <laughs> Go and give me a turkey leg. And they're not eating it. So look, I always thought Haiti was demonic anyway because of the voodoo right. that they do down there. There's a lot of evil down there, and maybe that would be a good place to take out, take off the map. Maybe that's what's going on right now. And what about Dominican Republic? It's so close. There's a you know, mm-hmm. there's a border there. Yeah, they're talking about putting a wall up. Dominican Republic. I would to keep the hands in your yeah. right. Yeah. I mean, they, they, it's kind of a halfway <laughs> good place to go, but they say after like four days, you want to get the hell out of there because you're so close to Haiti. I wonder how many Haitians have made it across our border. Oh, a ton of them. Yeah. Um, yeah. You remember that was a big group that was in the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Joe, I went on one press conference or, or um, Mop Top said about bringing some of them here. If he would, if he if he would, if he had his way, he'd bring probably the whole island here. Bring, that country is like 11 and a half, 12 million people. Haiti. Well, he's flying them in. Yeah. Hmm. Well, it it's it's supposedly it's really bad, you guys. I mean, here's another clip it from X. It's showing people just flipping. Uh, an evacuation amid a country in chaos. A U.S. military operation airlifting non-essential embassy employees out of Haiti. A move approved by President Biden, who a U.S. official says remains deeply concerned. The administration also boosting embassy security. U.S. Southern Command saying no Haitians were on board that flight. Last week, the White House emphasizing the urgency of the crisis. We think about food, health care, clean water, and other forms of critical assistance through the U.N. and uh, NGO partners to help people in need. A state of emergency in Haiti now extended to next month. The U.N. reporting 5.5 million people, almost half... This shit was supposed to be all done. Sorry. ...humanitarian aid. Years of political violence came to a boiling point last weekend when gangs attacked the capital, Port-au-Prince, and set free thousands of violent criminals from the prisons. Haiti's Prime Minister, Ariel Henry, still in Puerto Rico, forced to land there. As calls for his resignation now growing louder. Haiti's main airports shut down, leaving Haitians stranded. It's been bad before. This this is probably the worst. We, I think we, we are reaching um, peak crisis. Mercy Corps has been working to reduce violence in Haiti since 2019. The situation in Haiti is is delicate, and um, you know it is important to make uh, the right decisions moving forward. And I'm sure the U.S. government, just like all governments, do not want to make the situation worse. And Marissa, we've learned that leaders of Caribbean nations are calling an emergency meeting on this issue tomorrow. Correct, Uh, Peter. They're meeting tomorrow morning to discuss what they call a dire situation, hoping to decide on a resolution to bring stability and relief to Haiti, but stressing time isn't on their side. Peter? Thanks. Did you hear what they said at the very beginning, though? It's very telling. They said, uh, as far as the embassy goes, they got all non-essential people out. That means a guarantee, and I'm thinking Benghazi, there's a bunch of armed, either Delta Force or SEALs or whoever that's holding that building right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And they're completely outnumbered. But but they're there. They said non-essential. So the essentials yep. are the guys that are, you know. But we have given Haiti so much money. So much you got now they you gotta let them take care of it themselves. Yeah. It's their country. Well just like Ukraine. Take same you, same thing. Same freaking thing, man. Same thing. The gangs, the those gangs took over the airport, so they knew that guy was at, it was like perfect timing. They really yeah. did time oh, it. Oh, they well. let they let four thousand prisoners go. And some of the prisoners, from what I understand, said, No, I ain't going. You know, I'm not going to be charged again and again, you know, because I'm in here for my my sentence and whatnot. And um, I'm one of the good ones. I'm staying here. Yeah. Hmm. 
you notice every country we could re relief to gets work their situation becomes far worse we screw it up well and i'm wondering stores so most of um sponsored um those gangs i mean who the hell names themselves barbecue i mean well, it's pretty scary now it's yeah. like you have to create the boogeyman, you know what I mean? And yeah. they did. Yeah. I mean, if they literally have somebody that's sitting there, you know, um, bar oh my, I can't even believe we're talking about this. This is well, it's 20 like a Batman before. villain or something, you know? Barbecue. And even in SC, believe in NSC, South Carolina, we, uh, yeah, we talked about that earlier. The thing is, is okay. This is what gets me: is the barbecue thing, kind of like this thing from the plain thing from a long time thing. Okay, yeah. Okay. We have new information now, also on the plane crash. KTV has just learned the names of the four pilots who were on board the flight. They are Captain Sum Ting Wong, We Too Low. Ho Li Fook and Ben <laughs> Ding Ow. Holy Fook. Uh, <laughs> Ain't no way. That's a joke. Uh, yeah, but they did. They actually called in yeah, and had these yeah. people say it on air after that Malaysian crash. Yeah. Right? Um, yeah. Or Asia. Yeah. Played 360, right? Done well, that's why that's why I'm mentioning something wrong. <laughs> well, yeah. And then this guy was <laughs> well, supposed to be Hannibal. Um, gang leader, you know, and he names himself Barbecue. You That's know? a great name. It's a fucking great name. <laughs> great, yeah. He should have named himself the Colonel. I'm the Colonel. Yeah. Come on, white suit. I'm just tripping. This doesn't make any sense. Spicy. Any. Very, very spicy. Human and human. then um, we also got the spring breakers, you guys. You know, it's been spring break this last week. And shut them down. Tin, they shut them yeah. down. There's a hundred dollar really? parking. There's um DWI checkpoints all over. Yeah, they just had it with that shit, man. I don't blame them either, man. It's just like everybody comes to this town and all they do is screw up. Just for shit a it week, up, man. And we're they done. did a commercial. Uh Yorga, they did a commercial telling everyone, hey, don't come here this year. We don't want you we don't want you. <laughs> That's <laughs> pretty bad. Well, that's pretty bad when you don't want the the income and the. Well, this is what the spring breakers had to say this year for spring break 2024. What's on their mind? Let me. What is on their minds? I need a hot president, and I think it should be me. Look, I'm very young, energetic, and handsome. What the hell am I doing this for? Joe Biden sucks, dude. He's raising prices, like, not it. This old, he's not really doing man. Take a look around you, Ellen. We're at the threshold of hell. What has Joe Biden accomplished? What has he accomplished? Nothing? That would be correct. Really? Yay, me! How's Kamala doing? Kamala? Is that the colored lady like me? I don't even know who that is. I don't even know who that is. Kamala Harris. What do you think she does? Oh, it's a girl. Harris, dude. She's running the ship from behind the scenes. She's pulling in strings like a puppet, bro. No, I, 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 you're right. Define inflation. Um, it's bad. I was paying $8 for a Big Mac meal a couple of weeks ago. I'm paying 12 for it. People going broke. I, it's not a big thing, okay? If you were in charge, how would you handle the migrant crisis? If they're not slaying the day, they could get the out. You gotta get the illegal sent back home. It's like getting into bars when like girls get into bars easier than guys. So you let the girls in first. It's the only reason I like being a girl. <laughs> a sexist would say. How important to you is January 6th? I don't know. I don't pay attention to dates like that. January 6th is very important because my best friend's birthday is January 5th. So that's the best week <laughs> in the entire year. I like it. I like it. It's a good day. Great day. Because I know who's going to win. What happens on January 6th? That's, that's, that's when we vote. Goodness, y'all. Bless his heart. How's Donald Trump doing? Be cool, 
Love that guy. He's good stuff. I love you too, but you're not my type. You want to say what's up to Jesse Waters? Hi. My mom loves you, okay? And that means I love you too. What's, what's up, Jesse Waters? Time to spring break. I miss spring break. I miss it. I'm so glad that they took it away from them. They know what's going on. <laughs> They're awake. It's good to see yeah. that they're finally waking up. Exactly. We got something going on here with the. Uh... And now. I was just uh -oh. looking at her. Hey, I'm Cool Cats. It's time for Craig the Hunter's new segment. I've been trying psychedelic mushroom. <laughs> Did you see the sauce of that chicken? And now for your mostly true 10 TV news report. I am Gary Busey, buttered sausage. <laughs> The real and good news have I not commanded you be strong and courageous, do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. That's Joshua 1 9. So, amen. When we're watching all this stuff, remember who's got us, folks. Amen. Amen. This segment of Mostly True News is sponsored by Count Yorga's 500,000 year old petrified saltwater taffy. What? It is as hard as it sounds and lucrative for dentists all over. <laughs> Available now it's in our merch store. That and delicious. I'm sorry. And delicious, but it will break your teeth. Available now in our merch store that does not exist. Yeah, not yet. We're still working on it. Yeah. And now for a tie report. Tonight's tie just seemed to go well with my blue laser proof uh, death ray shirt. Oh, look, I love those. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> it is dinosaurs and i really i didn't even notice there's a bunch of different dinosaurs on here there's a oh yeah a, a stegosaurus right there and there's remember a, they they tried to tell us that oil came from that yeah that's right that's not where oil came from i yeah. know man and i bought into that shit didn't you oh yeah Church, fossil fuel man. yeah well, my father and i were in the oil industry so i know all about the oil business exactly I'm saying me as a as a private educated no not private public educated son of a bitch. Fossil fuel came from dinosaur bones. It didn't. Well, that's what they told us when we grew up. Yeah, I believe. I it. didn't have a daddy oil man. What there's seepage. Oil? Whenever they had a big oil spill, Dad would say, yeah. "There's seepage like that and worse all over the the world." I uh, don't even uh, know. I'll bet. Tar balls. Tar balls. And now for your mostly true nutrition corner. Beans, beans, the magical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. The more you toot, the better you feel. So let's eat beans at every meal. Oh, and now for the curious case of Jeff B. Who killed Jeff B.? <laughs> we did. Curiosity got the best of Jeff B when he was brutally beaten up and down by a cross-dressing prostitute downtown at 3 a.m. in the morning. Nothing good happens at 3 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> First, Jeff B was curious about the price of the services. Second, Jeff B was curious as to what alley they would use for the services. Third base is when Jeff B realized that curiosity had gotten him into trouble. <laughs> Two schmeckles, no cup. Oh. Jeff B was no. treated and released, but unfortunately was run over by an ambulance as he left the hospital. 
Oh. Two schmickles. An ambulance cup. or no, a ambulance? No cup. No cup. Ambulance. He got hit by the damn oh. ambulance. Damn. He must have been all frazzled from that schmeckle encounter. <laughs> and now for your mostly true elderly statement of the day. I can remember the good old days when only Mexicans came across the border illegally. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. That's what your grandpa would have said. Well, yeah, that's damn right. That's what he would have said. I mean, we love you Mexicans. Now we got all these people from we don't even know where. Yeah. Right. First in the news, what do you get when you cross rodeo with skiing? The wacky and wild sport of skijoring. <laughs> What's skijoring? Skijoring. It's, they give it a Norwegian name to make it sound official. Nick Burry clicks into his ski bindings, squats in the stretch, stretches his knees, and scans the snowy race course. Moments later, he is zipping past a series of gates in high speed um, and hurling over jumps. But it's not gravity pulling him towards the finish line. It's the brute force of a quarter horse named Sirius. So now they've combined horses or vehicles to pull these skiers even faster over jumps. Sounds like a really dangerous what? sport. I'm loving it. Why oh, wouldn't to use a snowmobile? Like a They do. Jay, Jay, let me read it to you. It's coming up. Oh, Welcome okay. to Skijoring, an extreme and quirky winter sport that celebrates unlikely melding of rodeo and skiing culture in the U.S. Mountain West. It's a heart-pounding white-knuckle competition in which horses... Or sometimes dogs, snowmobiles, or even cars tow skiers by rope at speeds that can reach up to 40 miles per hour, which is 64 kilograms for all you overseas motherfuckers, over jumps as high as eight feet, when well, that's 2.4 meters for all you slackers over there in Europe, and around <laughs> obstacles as they try to lance suspended hoops with batons, typically ski poles that are cut in <laughs> <laughs> Skajoring draws its name from the Norwegian words skajoring, meaning ski driving. It starts as, as a practical mode of transportation in Scandinavia and became popular again in the Alps around 1900. Hmm. Next in the news. Hmm. A rare two-faced calf born month, uh, born last month in a Louisiana farm is flourishing despite all odds. That's right, folks. A rare calf born with two faces, four ears, two noses, two mouths, and two ears. Ooh. I got, wait. You have a four, picture? Two faces, four eyes, two noses, two mouths, and two ears continues to flourish Thursday. Eight days after its birth in Southwest Louisiana Farm, the owners of Bro Farms LLC uh, said the they're in a community ninety miles away from West Baton Rouge. Said the calf, which appears normal from the ears back, was named Doe Face because Doe is the French word for two. Uh, the chance yeah. this type of birth is one in four million. And hmm. Wow, that's weird. that's a good freak show. That's a good freak show calf right there. Uh, and watch this calf will be celebrated. I know somebody says be calves like poor calf, but that calf's going to be celebrated. They would never kill that calf because of its two faces. Think about that. Um, at at eight days old, Doe Face is making slow progress under the care of several veterinarians and the brews. Doe Face is using a sling to support as she works on building her leg muscles. Uh, an update from the bro said they brought her outside to get some sun and a little f uh, time freaking out the other cows with her hideous two heads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't join any reindeer games, that's for sure, with your two heads. Next in the news, wayward 450-pound pig named Kevin Bacon hams it up on home security camera. In Hollywood, actor Kevin Bacon is a big star, but in Wisconsin's Kenosha County, 
Kevin Bacon is a one big pig, a 450-pound porker wandering from his pen last week, then moseyed <laughs> down the road when he was caught on uh, caught hammering it up on the Mung- Mole Guards family security camera. It's a weird name. It's spelled M-O-L-G-A-A-R-D. Why the two A's? Mm. No shit, people. Well, what do you do when a large four-legged neighbor visits your home on a Friday night? Well, the guy says, my wife started feeding him right away. So they run out with food and feed him, said Mogul 40, a local business owner. Uh, that's what she does with every animal that comes in the backyard. After the couple watched Kevin scarf down some apples, rice cakes, tomatoes, carrots, Mogard said it was time to figure out who this pig belonged to. There's a pig. There he is. Mm. He's a beautiful pig. Mulgar lives in Brighton, about 38 miles south of Milwaukee, and is not a farmer, but there are farms nearby. He called a farmer friend who not only knew the pig's owner, but had his phone number. Kevin Bacon was recaptured and most likely will be, will end up on the commodity stock market and (laughs) six degrees from everyone's bacon plate. (laughs) (laughs) You're all going to be eating them soon, folks. He was captured. And this concludes your Tin TV Mostly True News. I am Craig the Hunter. Butter sauce. Butter sauce. Good, Thank you, Jim. Jim, I think you're better. Jim, no, I like good. you more. Uh, Jim, I like you more. <laughs> Six degrees from breakfast. Six degrees from everyone's bacon plate. Mm. Bacon. Sounds good. Craig, I got it. You killed me. Two stories, three stories back. You said that 40 miles per hour was equal to 64 kilograms. <laughs> <laughs> to, the, to, the, to, those mother, to those motherfuckers in Europe. In Europe. I, you're right. I was doing in weed measurements. I, I was, I was like, thinking of weed measurements. Weight, weight versus speed. speed. speed <laughs> That's a lot of kilos. That's a lot of kilos. <laughs> yeah, speed is separate than weight. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, Mr. Boswell. <laughs> it was written down wrong on my article. <laughs> well, speaking of weight, poor guy. All he wanted to do was exercise. Oh, oh. Police have charged the man. 31 year old Dwayne Townsend is charged with indecent exposure and disorderly conduct on several occasions dating back to November of 2018. And you see, that's what the problem is. Now, it's a beautiful day. I want to come outside with my shirt off and I was just jogging, trying to get my body back in shape. And all of a sudden, I get hit stick like I'm on Madden. Just boom, out of nowhere by a cop. And, uh, you know, it scared the hell out of me. I was so scared, y'all, I didn't own myself. And I, I was wet. I was wetter than a well in a bubble bath drinking a bottle of water. Okay? And to myself, I said, indecent exposure? Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. What you want me to do? I'm a man. You want me to put on a bra? Man, that bra strap will snap like a bungee cord. Just go. (laughs) And, you know, I just came out of court. And they just gave me two court dates. One for each titty. (laughs) I love this guy. (laughs) One for each titty. Is that the real guy who got arrested, or is that the dude who just does make makes all these funny videos? It looks like whatever. a parody. Yeah, I love him though. I love him. They're good. Yeah, He's good. So funny. Mm. But mm. and then also um, things that are bacon. We were talking bacon and stuff right there. Um, Bitcoin, bacon, the bacon, Bitcoin. Um, Jay, you want to? 70, what seventy two thousand today? Yep. Jay, I had some inside. Somebody told me that BlackRock, those companies, you know, those big companies, we can't say them. I'm sorry, Tim. I didn't mean to say that word. And Mm -hmm. Van something. Mm -hmm. They've bought into these, um, I guess, holdings of Bitcoin. And that's why this is skyrocketing. Yes. Bitcoin demand. Yes. 
And also, Jay, put, from what I found out, you, but this is more rarer than gold. You can't, you can only mine so much per year, and there's more demand. So that's why this has gone so high. Correct. And the ha having event that the having events in a month, we're all half what you can mine. Oh, so it's even but it doubles, it down. but it doubles in price. So right. they'll take five away from you, and then your five that you still have are worth double. Yes. And the head of that van company is unexpectedly stepping down. No. Yeah, you're right about that, Jim. That, that, and I'd like to know why. No, what you're going to see, what I believe you're going to see is the all this shit that went on with the SEC and this crypto with the uh, Ripple and uh, XRP it was being suppressed because our government was buying into a Chinese coin taking our money and invested in it in Bitcoins and Ethereum, which was against the law. So we'll see. XRP has been coming up slowly. The people that make the laws are the ones that break the laws. Have you noticed That's, that? That's what I hope is going to come out. Well, that, here's a little bit on the having event um, on this Bitcoin because I don't understand it. And oh, wait a minute, did I go wrong? Uh -oh. Oops. Okay, never mind. I did wrong. Let me. It sounds like a Fortnite game. <laughs> like a, a, <laughs> what did a I having do? event is coming up. What yeah. Okay. I'll have to find that. Let me bring up Mr. Boswell's story then instead on the banking system. I wanted. Okay, we had discussed this back in January, but now it's coming to fruition with, right. with what could happen to our banking system. Well, what happened today? Today they stopped lending, right? Yep. Okay. Okay, you're going over that. Gotcha. Okay. The US Fed Bank's term the term funding program is expected to close its services on March eleventh, which is today. Okay, analysts anticipate a potential banking turmoil following the cessation of the Fed's BTFP. And remember, Joe Warren Powell said more banks are likely to fail. It's because of this. Amidst anticipations of the U.S. Federal Reserve's bank term funding program, the community speculates a potential banking turmoil. While Monday marks the conclusion of the Fed's BTFP, researchers anticipate a renewed financial crisis in the banking sector, similar to last year's debacle. On March 15th of 20. 23, the Fed's Board of Governors announced the launch of the BTFP to support American businesses and households by making additional funding available to eligible depository institutions to help assure banks have the ability to meet the needs of all their deposits. The launch came following the fall of financial giants like Silvergate Bank and Signature Bank. However, on February 20th of this year, the Fed declared the BTFP would cease making new loans from March 11th. Geiger Capital, a prominent voice in the financial sector, re recently shared insights on the impending financial crisis following the cessation of the BTFP. Adding to the New York Community Bank Corps, the New York Central Bank, we, we just mentioned it, I forget it was Craig Show or Ten Show last week, is collapsing, he stated. Um, many regional banks are still in a terrible situation, and the Fed is adding the BTF fallout. Well, basically, we've been talking about this for a year, Hal. I think uh, Goldman Sachs could be the main bank. They're just going to let banks fail because Goldman Sachs bailed out the bank, the New York Central Bank last week. They're just oh. going to let these banks fail and let another bank buy them out. And basically what's, hap what's happened is, okay, these banks, they're, they're running out of currency, paper or digital because people can't pay back all the loans, overextension. Yep. And they overextended on the bonds. Yep, we've been, as I said, we've been talking, how long have we been discussing this? Oh. It, I it, mean, we're uh, shocked. Yeah, we're shocked it's still working, Jim. Yeah, it's still working. Know? Trust the plan. More people, this started a year ago, more people are putting less of their paycheck in the bank, and now the banks don't have the currency to honor it. They don't. That's our in tree of insight. 
from Ireland says, Irish ATMs are being shut down this coming weekend during a bank holiday. Bricks is up and so is Bitcoin. There you go. That tells you something right there. Yep. But uh, and I hate to see this because I think it was Mellow Stacks said something in here about um, you know, a lot of people are going to do good on Bitcoin if you get in, get out. But a lot of people yep. are going to get wrecked. People buying it's just like the stock market. People buying it when it's too high. You figure what mm-hmm. determines the price of items I, that we buy. I, I wouldn't like, even. I wouldn't be surprised, Jim. Bitcoin hits a hundred thousand bucks. I bet one hundred fifty, maybe two hundred, eventually. Well, here's that um, thing that I, I'm sorry that I couldn't find, but I found it. Okay, so yeah, so let's. It's hopefully it'll. All right, so Bitcoin set down to go yet another having event, uh, probably sometime in the next month. And uh, you got to take a look at this because it rallied like huge after the last one. This, I think, would be the fourth one to bring a pomp investment uh, investor, uh, Anthony Pompliano. And you know this this having thing. Explain to the audience, or at least try. Let's try yeah. to explain to the audience uh, what it is. So we have here the last time it happened, uh, and uh, you can see where Bitcoin was like a ten grand sort of. You know, now we're at uh, seventy thousand. Seems like it could be a good thing. But let's go back supply and demand, right? If you have a supply and demand stays constant, but supply gets cut in half. Obviously, the price has to adjust to accommodate everyone. That's what happened back here in 2020. Bitcoin was trading about $8,000. We got a supply that cut in half, and then obviously price runs. Now, what's interesting is right now, 900 Bitcoin per day are being produced. If you think in kind of gold terms, that's literally gold being dug out of the ground. This is Bitcoin being produced. It's net new Bitcoin coming into supply. But when we hit this happening occur, we're going to go from 900 to 450. Now, what's interesting is right now, there is the equivalent of nine to 10,000 Bitcoin per day in demand. So already we're at 10x more demand right. than supply. That's this huge price increase that we've seen. So- Where's Jay? I'm right here. Okay. So you were watching, right? Kind of. Jay likes talking about these type of currencies. I know he does. Yeah, well, yeah. So it is. It's just supply and demand. But the problem is with Bitcoin, you can always keep making Bitcoin. So you, it's just think of it as as a Fed. The Fed can print money. So you can. Yeah, I'm a. They're hyping it. They're hyping it, right, Jay? It didn't cut in half, making it more hype. Well, they cut it in half, and then you people are going to go after it because there's not as much. But the point, the one of the point is, first of all, it's a China. China runs it. Then you got they can keep making it, so you can keep printing money. So if they can turn it off from nine nine uh, Bitcoin a day to 450 Bitcoin a day. You know what I mean? They can ch- just start kicking it up. It's, they can be manipulated. I don't so have you, any idea how much of this they can make, though. I mean, they they can make it infinity. They can make, that's the point. They can make as right. much that as was, they want. That well, was my question, Agent J. Is, is they're, they're saying they can make 900 a day. What's holding them to that? Nothing. Nothing, Nothing is holding them to that. But they're mm-hmm. also saying that there is a cap on, there's like so many, and it should tap out by 2045. Oh, and then they go to Congress, and Congress says, let's, let's just extend another, yeah. you know, a few, yeah. few hundred million. Jeez. You know what I mean? It, it's it just, you need it decentralized for, away from the government, too. So I don't but, know. But if, if, like Van, this- if, if Vanguard and Rock are playing with it, it's government playing with it too, and they won't Sorry. sell any of it. Vanguard doesn't sell anything like that, or acorns that I told you about. Mm-hmm. My son uses. Mm-hmm. That's what's scary. And where, like Miss Mendersu asks, uh, what is it? Can I put it in my hand? No, I mean literally. What do we? Put? It's blockchain. Is that all we're paying? It's, I mean, what? That's what it's it is. Digital. It's in the air. It's all mm-hmm. digital. See, that makes it's sense. All why numbers. they're it's numbers? It's all numbers. When you look at your bank account, you're going to see numbers. Just and like, um, that makes sense why they're getting rid of banks, because you're not going to have to go into a bank and say, hi there, I'd like to um, I'd like to deposit my invisible coins. Yep. 
Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, it's like the emperor's are, new clothes. These things are the same thing, Craig. Yep. These things are little clothes. mini computers, man. Every, you know, everybody's holding one except for Jim Boswell, who lives in the seventies. But everybody <laughs> else holds one of these. He's right about that. Okay. True. So they're mini microcomputers. He just got a new avocado green Amanda dryer in his house. What do you want, Agent J? The dryer. Uh, literally, right. family family yeah. came over to meet the new dryer. It's oh, yeah. How did, how, I forgot about that. How'd that go? Did the family like the dryer? <laughs> well, our son came this week on Sunday, and he liked the dryer. Yeah. The main thing is the clothing That's good gets news. quickly. <laughs> Well, Agent J, this is what old Grandma Yellen has to say about the show situation. Well, what I can tell you is that the um, average American now has seen an increase in uh, their wages that um, exceeds the increase in prices uh, in the since the pandemic, and can afford the same basket of goods with $1,400 left over. Now, that's not to say that um, Americans aren't facing burdens. And for a very long time, child care costs, health care costs, um, other costs, the cost of education um, have really weighed on them and made many feel like they just don't have breathing room. And as I said, uh, it's President Biden's highest priority to relieve some of those burdens. But since the pandemic, uh, the average American household is better off uh, in real terms. She's lying. Oh, I haven't oh, seen Barbara not- Bush forever. Liar, man. Yeah. How about how about everybody ask yourself? Is three percent? It's for five hundred, Ken. Yeah, is everything up three percent? Look at what that's he what said. Biden, the, that's what Biden just told us. 3%. Yeah, the state. Yeah, the state of union. Yeah. You're freaking crazy. This is really what Grandma Yellen wanted to tell you. Council has discussed crypto regulations and legislations at length, and we have come to the conclusion that instead of regulating, we are going to ape Gee. that bag each into laptop and pump it to over a billion, 300 million trillion market cap. Let's go crackheads. (laughs) 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 You got to admit that That is funny. That is funny because it caught me. I thought she was really saying. Crypto regulations and legislation. Oh, what? Sorry. I, I was going to say, you, yeah, you caught me in, Craig. I thought she I was, thought really, she was really saying that. I'm like, what the heck? I'm like, what? They can't control it. They can't control what's going to happen. You understand we don't want them to control it. They don't need to control it. It needs to be decentralized. Fuck everybody. We, we can manage our own money. My whole point is they want to control it, and they can't. They've lost control. They want to tax yeah, it. They- they want a piece of the pie, man. If yeah. it's out there, they want a piece. Yeah. Well, in every one of the countries that have wanted to do that, like Libya, like Germany, like how many other countries that they wanted to get off off the old, you know, Ted of the Rothschilds and their dirty banking and then They're doing it. That's what BRICS the, is. Mm-hmm. And They're doing so, it. So, you know, I'm not for vandalism. We've shown a lot of bullshit vandalism. But for for the first time, wow, this is an activist. And she is destroying a a picture, you guys. This is a historic painting of Lord Balfour himself in Trinity College University of Cambridge. Yeah, Lord Balfour. Come on, the Balfour Agreement. Yeah, Mm -hmm. with the Rothschilds. Oh, that's why they're doing that. That one ain't coming back. That that one ain't coming back. That's painful to watch. It really is. I yeah, love it really is. Because I, don't, like, I don't care. I don't care who he was. I, I can't yeah. condone that kind of. I, mean, I hate watching it. Was, it's yeah. history. If it's, it's that old, the there isn't yeah. much shit that old, and it's 
I don't like go, that. Why don't they go after the real problem? Take it, that are, yeah. why take did it they, down, put it away, do something. But. Why didn't they cover it up? They know all this other art's being attacked. Uh, yeah, it should did be they behind do, glass. Did yeah. they do that because, oh, maybe that's not really the real one, and they did that so that maybe. they could statement you know to keep their movement going i mean look over here look over here you guys maybe that could be a lithograph but but in this banksy world that that might sell for more money now mm -hmm. just a weird oh, just yep. a weird world we live in you know now that it's destroyed yeah actually destroyed. You're right. on camera on camera yeah it might. wow a lot of craziness, you guys. But I'm going to flip it over to shift, you guys, because it is that time. Where is it? Hey, guys. I have one really big favor. If you are not subbed, trust in God first. Please do. He has 10 subs from 900. I think Ooh. we can get him there tonight. So... I've dropped his link several times in chat, so please sub to trust in God first. And the other person I'd like to promote is Second Chance Sex. She has been trying to hit her 500 mark goal for a while, and YouTube, I should say, ScrewTube, keeps taking them away. So please sub to Second Chance Sex. And for tonight's prayer, Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of friendship and for the blessings of having friends in our lives. We pray for our friends that you would grant them your peace, joy, and protection. May you fill their hearts with your love and give them strength to face any challenges that come their way. Amen. 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 In Jesus' mighty name. Awesome. Thank you, Shift. Thank you, Shift. You're welcome. Thank you, Shift. In your Dude, did you oh, have, yeah. have any? Let's, let's go get this uh, chat. Come on, let's go get shift or uh, trusting God. Ten people. Come on. Yeah, and then I, I really don't like the guy, but but if y'all, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> he's he's a funny guy. He is a funny guy. We love him, and we can mess around. With I did just like that. I did just drop it in chat again. Okay, 10 people. If you're not there, it's just click over. We'll wait. I'll tell you what, we'll just sit here and wait for you. Yeah. But don't hit the notification. That always bugs yeah. you. Yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. A couple times it went in. Mm -hmm. Tough doing it from this end. Yeah, we'll just. So, yep, 10 people. Oh, That's all we need. 10 people, man. Make the guy happy. Does don't you really have any words of wisdom for us? Make the guy always happy. <laughs> I mean, we, me and him do an early coffee, coffee with friends and news, and we have and coffee. Put out a lot of good stuff. And we'll make him happy. Yeah. He's an old fucker. Happy, damn it! Yeah, he's old. He's really old. I hear. He's real he supports old. a lot of people too. So, he yeah. does support a lot of people, but we can make him happy for an old dude. Like I said, I, I don't like the guy, but if y'all want to go. Yes, you do. You love him. I'm just <laughs> There's ten people. Gotta make me happy. What do you got, Yorga? Got words I of wisdom. I got reason. nothing, man. Except for this. I've got a test. Here's the kisses I've snatched, and vice versa. That's all. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. I got a beard at the right time. There you go. I like that. I wanted to say, destroying that painting is like <laughs> destroying. Civil yeah, War you think about that. It's the same principle. People destroying historic works of art. It's the same reason they're tearing down this. They tore down all the civil statues. War. Well, their statues are for. Yep, that's. God, man. Yep. It's, it's history. It's history. You're destroying, exactly. history. folks. It's that time of the show where we ask you after the show, meaning after the stream is over, please go into Tin TV comment section, leave a beautiful, sweet nice comment maybe about agent j maybe about jim boswell no could be about chef kicker could be about yorga can yorga but a bunch of hearts please a bunch of hearts and maybe some 100 100 100 thank 100. you that was it oh no I mean, it's what not else should we do be going to lazar homestead how did i do that uh-oh you went to uh -oh. the wrong 
Uh oh. Yep. Well, Lee, well, Lee Lazaric, I guess you got a bunch of subscribers from T. Hey, sub to Lee. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry about I don't know that. what happened there. I, I thought I copied his link. Oh, well. Yeah, trust me, I'll, be, I'll be right back. It's hard if to I fall off, bring me back. I'm going to drop this for them. Shit, okay. man, it's hard to trust in God's funny, channel baby. the way he spells it sometimes. That's yeah, good. more stuff, so make him happy. That's all he needs. Yeah, you just gotta make him happy. That's uh, it. Like I said, I don't like the guy. <laughs> you know, he, he's honest, like all the get. I gotta get up more subs. Okay, have coffee with him. Yeah, oh, go shit. have coffee with him. Yeah. It really is a fun morning show, folks. I, I'm joking when I say that. I do enjoy being there every morning with Shift and Trust. It is mm. Shift really makes it better because I, I don't like the guy. I like Shift. <laughs> and Ken Lorg and I, we don't care if we get any more subscribers. I know I never have. I hate my subscribers. I'm it's doing like, it to leave my mark on history. Down. Oh, all right, guys. <laughs> I dropped the right one. If that's so, please, yeah, go stub, stub them up. Oh, you now you're making everybody do it again. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah. I thought I had the right link. Got to work for this one, Jay. Oh yeah. gosh. Yeah. Oh, wow. Hey, if we, hey, if we, if we, we all make me, mistakes, you know. If, 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 I know. If ten people okay. unsubscribe to me, it'll make me happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so ten people unsubscribe to your good, but then go yeah. subscribe to trust in I'll God. I'll be happy. I don't like yeah, the guy. I'll give him to him. And then we'll make trust happy. <laughs> so everybody will be happy. Like, yeah, Uber Eats, man. We should come down. <laughs> Remember, it used to be affordable. Yeah. It's too expensive. You know, it went out of bounds. Oh. No, didn't do the old bait and switch on purpose, Pappy Two Bears. Nope. <laughs> um, let's see what do we got here. Uh, Tin TV Two, because this channel will be blown up, has before, maybe gone. Who knows? Uh, Tin TV over on. There's yeah. People over there watching thank, it right thank now. Thank you guys. He's at nine oh seven. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Right on, Trust. Thank nice. you, people. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Now he's happy. Um, oh, <laughs> <laughs> you can go to bed, and, go to bed now. Is Tin TV over on Telegram and Planet Neutral over on Telegram. Go join those two channels. A lot of information <laughs> over there. Um, what else? Oh, and all bitches and complaints, please send to Tin TV at myyahoo.com. You can also send them all. You can just copy and paste them to both of them to shift kickers 92. Two, two. 92 at yahoo.com. So shift kicker 92 at yahoo.com. Right? He always right. wants to put the 69. Oh. Yeah. Well, I need some weed. I <laughs> <laughs> that's funny that was perfect timing damn it so, trust thank you everyone in chat shout out to everyone in chat because without you guys all coming there wouldn't be a channel and uh, we will see you tomorrow night for taco tuesday with agent j a b and friends yeah so please join us but thank you so much, right, everybody? Yep. Thank Thanks, you. Chad. Thank much you love Chad. to everybody on X. Love y'all. X. Okay, so so do some do some moving to the music on the way out, boys. As I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I take a look at my life and realize there's nothing left.